Hello, good people. Today's scripture is James 5 and 16. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. And then it goes on to say the effectual fervent prayers of a righteous man availeth much. So let's break that down a little bit. Now it says that you can pray for one another that you may be healed. But how do you know that that person is going to be healed? Or how do you know that you're going to be healed or you're going to be able to heal someone else? You have to have power behind that prayer. It says, the effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. And it said it right after it says, pray for one another that you may be healed. So, if you are allowing people to pray for you, if you are praying for others, don't think that that person is going to be healed if your prayer life is not right, if your personal life is not right, if your spiritual life is not right with God. You have to be in good standing. So the effectual, that's why it went on to say the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Not just no loosey-goosey prayer. So the effect, what does effectual mean? Effectual is um, showing evidence. you got to be able to produce evidence evidence produce evidence of something is gonna be uh happening what kind of track record do you have do you have a good track record of your prayers um producing evidence your prayers producing results have you pr produced any results from your prayers in the past have you made a difference have you been fruitful in your prayer life have you um do you have a, a power a are there any benefits behind your prayer life? And then it says the fervent, fervent prayers. So the effectual fervent prayer, and what does fervent mean? It's it's being uh, de devoted, de a devout prayer. You're being passionate about praying. You're being intense. It's intense prayer. It's a heartfelt prayer. It's a it's a trusting prayer. You got to be you got to be. You got to have that zeal and that power behind it. You got to be intense with it, and you got to make sure that you are are, are praying these things. <laughs> and then it says, "Of a righteous man, and being a righteous person, you got to be in good standing with God. You got to be worthy. You got to be walking upright. You got to be a virtuous person. You got to be, um, you know, after God's own heart." And then it says avail. So then when you avail, that means it actually takes place. It actually happens. You actually got through to God. You got through through that prayer line. You, there was actually a benefit from it all. There was actually someone profiting from it. If you're going to pray for me, do you have a track record? I need to see your track record before I tell you anything to pray for me about. I need to know what your track record is, okay? Somebody say track record. Okay, I need to see. I need to see the track record. Okay, so what's your track record? If I'm going to confess to you, if I'm going to be asking you to pray for me, or if I'm going to be praying for you, I need to have a good track record. All right, so that's the effectual. Effectual means it needs to be effective. It needs to have some results, something positive coming for, uh, coming from this. You need to be able to produce some things. Produce the track record for me to see so I can know to come to you and for you to pray for me and for me to pray for you. You need to check my, check my, check my track record, baby. Check my track record. Amen. So... Make sure that your prayers are fervent, which means you're being passionate, you're being dedicated, you're being truthful, you're being heartfelt, you're being uh, intense with your prayers, you're being devout, um, and you're making sure that you put in the work and make sure that they are effectual. Make sure that you have a good track record. Make sure that you can produce some evidence. Uh, make sure you're in good standing with God. Amen. Amen. So that is your James 5 and 16 breakdown from Lady C. Have a good day. Bye-bye.